Hello everybody, this is Jeff at eTrailer.com. Today we're going to take a look at this Dexter DX7.5L disc brake actuator with the electric lockout for a 2 inch hitch ball and has a 7,500 pound weight capacity. Now you'll use this actuator to synchronize your trailer's disc brakes with your tow vehicle brakes. Basically this hydraulic actuator will activate your trailer brakes when your tow vehicle slows or stops. What happens is when you apply the brakes in your tow vehicle, deceleration occurs and the momentum will push your trailer towards the rear of your vehicle. So with the surge brake actuator and the surge brake systems, it's triggered as your trailer moves forward while the tow vehicle slows. The, act, the inner portion right here of the actuator will telescope back in, applies force to the master cylinder back here, which in turn supplies the necessary hydraulic pressure to engage your trailer's brakes. Now if you notice on this one, it has a nice low profile coupler latch at the front here, ensures easy secure connection. And since there's no latch sticking up high that could be damaged or bent or broken, this one's a nice low profile look to it. It does use the over the center latch mechanism, which will only engage when the actuator is fully seated on a two inch hitch ball. And I want to demonstrate that. What you'll want to do first is you have this tethered safety pin. You just pull that out, that'll let you open your latch. And to open that, you just slide this little dot up of here, and that'll open your latch. And now you're ready to attach it. So I happen to pull, here's a two inch diameter hitch ball that it'll fit on. So with it open, you're ready to connect, drop it onto the ball, and then just push that latch down, and it's locked onto the ball. You're ready to go. But for extra safety, what you want to do is put the tethered safety pin back in there. And with that in it, it'll keep that lock from opening, even if something move that latch to try to open it, it wouldn't open enough to release it. It still stays connected. To actually release it, what you'll have to do is pull out that pin, slide your latch over, and that'll allow you to disconnect. So very nice way to connect to your hitch ball. <clears throat> now this does include the breakaway cable you can see right here. The breakaway cable is required by law, and what that does, it prevents a trailer runaway situation. This hook here on your breakaway cable will connect to your tow vehicle, and then what happens if the trailer happens to become disconnected, it pulls this cable, and that will actuate the master cylinder back here to apply the brakes to prevent a trailer runaway situation. <clears throat> now if you notice on the back of this one, it does include the electric reverse lockout. It's a solenoid valve that will let you back up without actuating your trailer brakes. Lots of times when you're in a trailer with the surge brake actuator, when you go to back up, it'll also try to apply the brakes. So what this lockout does, <clears throat> this will automatically activate when you shift your tow vehicle into reverse. The wires here on the electric solenoid, they will wire into your trailer connector, which connects to your tow vehicle so that it can detect when you're in reverse. So when you put your vehicle in reverse, the solenoid will ensure that the hydraulic actuator does not activate your trailer's brakes, and it allows you to back up your vehicle. Now to use this feature, these wires do need to be connected. <clears throat> the white goes to ground, the blue goes to your reverse light circuit. To use the lockout feature, you must have either a five-way, six-way, or seven-way connector on your vehicle. <clears throat> now the master cylinder, let me see if I can turn it just so you can see a master cylinder right here that the lockout's attached to. It is constructed of aluminum rather than plastic or steel. Gives you increased strength and corrosion resistance. <clears throat> right up at the top, if you notice the <clears throat> brake fluid filler cap right up here is also flush. Doesn't stick up to where it would get damaged with that. It's a nice flush. You just turn it and that lets you access to check your brake fluid or to add brake fluid. <clears throat> If you notice, this has a nice zinc plating over the whole actuator, gives you excellent corrosion resistance, and that means it's designed for marine applications. It is a bolt-on installation. You can see the bolts right here along the side. It is designed to fit onto a three-inch wide straight trailer tongue. Now the bolts to install this are not included. This part is made in the USA. Application again, it's for hydraulic disc brakes. The ball size it fits on is a two-inch diameter hitch ball, and the weight capacity is 7,500 pounds. But that should do it for the review on this Dexter DX7.5L disc brake actuator with the electric lockout for a 2-inch hitch ball with a 7,500 pound weight capacity.